Wellstar Health System is based in Metro Atlanta, and this part of the country has a tremendous amount of heart failure. And I knew that this system had a need for an LVAD program because prior to my arrival, they didn't have one. We had no options for these patients. We wanted to have a way to take care of these patients as opposed to having them die within our system or having to transfer them out to another system for them to be taken care of. Several years back, we were tapped by the Mayo Clinic Care Network team to work with the Wellstar team to primarily develop a ventricular assist device program. Wellstar has saved hundreds of lives over a short period of time. The LVAD program at Wellstar is so important because we provide a surgical solution for very sick patients that don't want to travel too far into Atlanta. The minimally invasive approach of LVAD implantations is that we spare the entire sternum. Rather than doing a full sternotomy, it reduces pain for the patient, allows them to physically recover faster, and then ultimately when they are ready to receive a transplant, it allows the transplant surgery to be done much more easily. Here at Wellstar, we performed over 155 LVAD implantations. I am the medical director for the Advanced Heart Train LVAD program at Wellstar Kennestone. I oversee LVAD procedures as it pertains to making sure that our protocols are streamlined and up-to-date to the latest evidence-based medicine and looking at program growth and expansion, among other things. Programs like this do a lot for the communities that they serve, primarily because it makes the geographic reach smaller. And so all of a sudden, areas within the United States that didn't have high access to advanced level care not only get that access, but then they're also getting exposure to a high level of collaboration with programs like the Mayo Clinic. I really feel that our successes and their successes are highly intertwined. As we see their program grow and influence multiple community members, multiple patients with heart failure within their community, I think that success that they are having is a true testament to the importance of collaboration and the importance of sharing the best practices. I think what Mayo allowed us to do from the very beginning is set our standard high. I wanted to be a part of a program that was excellent and having Mayo as a resource to rely on to build a product of excellence, the experience was unparalleled. I would tell anyone who's interested in collaborating with Mayo Clinic, if you have that opportunity, take that opportunity. It's not only important for us to optimize the care that we provide within the Mayo Clinic, it's important for us to partner with our colleagues within the community to optimize the care for the nation as a whole. And I think it's our dedication to the community as a whole that allows for us to prioritize that and actually do well with that type of collaboration.